so is society. Wise counsel, you're unobtainable. Blame, you breed without bounds. Greed, you're unbridled. Brave horse, you're hamstrung here. Brute force, you bear your brainless face. Sea of disorder, your full volume, your ebb and flow and breadth. Could I scoop you in this cup? Your vastness and your breakers, are you emptied with a beaker? But let me set this beginning aside. The conch shell hot with bewailing, its bray causing sudden shock, bringing the people together at once. Who doesn't the fan blast with chaff? Who has the, had the fear put into them? Who is setting the traps in Hargaga, the hunting pits of the cannibal queen? Here comes Bulale threatening death to provoke Baldun walking slowly with a branch of dogbane. The fig tree is laid between them to mark a peaceful zone, but he dodges by, so there's no escape. In the open, they find each other and their bows are busy with arrows, aimed at the body's bullseye. The oryx has to watch them brawl, and where is there any sanctuary? Where is there salvation? Calamity is capable of wonders. It blows everything out of proportion. The man causing it bloats with pride, and you call this normal? My people, there is such a thing as society. To the one who says, you have no choice, reply, you have no clue. Don't listen to his brain. Don't give him the time of day. The one who promised you much and ducked the responsibility you gave him, turned aside from your goals, robbed you when you were poor, belittled your beggarliness, while you lacked even the basics. This one, craving all comforts, sported the thick skin of the lion, wore hubris like a mane jumped up into the sky, boasting about his superiority, but he can't stay up the mountain forever. Nor can he delay his death day. His fall will break both shin bone and thigh. Rage at how contrary this has run. Say that it shall be recorded well. You, the people, chose me. You made your bed in my soul wrapped yourselves in my conviction, used my heart as your pillow. It's you who make my lips move, my fear at your fortunes, my care at your conditions. This is what matures me. When someone defrauds you, when you cry out for help, a keen longing awakens my senses, and I begin to recite verse. You. The people chose me. You granted me good fortune, loaded me with luck. If my brazenness burns like an iron, you bestowed that charisma on me. You ordered me be purposeful, compelled me to battle for you. If disasters hadn't befallen you, if your homeland hadn't burned, justice had not been discarded, the worth of schooling not belittled, being reduced to slogans, would I be so at one with you? If the fattest ram and the young lambs had not been slaughtered for him, the one who has devoured your house and home, if more had not been bestowed on him while the poor increased in number, if a scant hundred had not risen to the top, land which formerly had farms, not being put through hardship, its crops and vegetation raised. People who were once prosperous had watered milk poured out for them, their wealth exchanged for pauperhood. If AIDS grain had not been bickered over, nor eaten with water in place of ghee, if the man brought low with poverty did not have to say, we are content to be obliged to lie for his life, would I be so at one with you? If shame and wrath were not visited on you at the breaking of each dawn, if you were not promised better news, would always be here tomorrow, and your needs were never met today? If the dance of desire, Ba'adah, and its
It's Rifain, Balu Leo, Balu Walei, was not balm for your soul. If clannishness had not been brushed down and trotted out yet again, if your banding together, your sharing and solidarity had not been bludgeoned apart, your home not burgled and the sick in their beds not loathed and left to heal themselves, would I be so at one with you? If the young were not butchered, the blade not stained with blood, the one who takes care of you at the end, not breakfast for the vultures, the brave one who seeks to save you, not dragged down by wild beasts, if those whose safety should be sanctioned were not riddled with bullets, the wolves racing each other to reach them, if those who should be grieving were not forced to rejoice, and this show of joy worn as a charm? If whoever remained alive had not fallen under the rule of the gun, becoming thick skin to pain, would I be so at one with you? <clears throat> if the land had not been scorched by neglect and lack of water, if Benedir, once bountiful, was not now looked upon with pity, if at dawn the refugees did not flee in waves, great numbers making for the holy sites, if petrol were not fetishized, if even the country girls who used to wear fine poplin were not abused now in Bahrain, if the country had not gone a thousand times begging to the Arab kings, to the feathered emirs, would I be, would I be so at one with you? If the Eastern Bloc had not abandoned us, the West not lured us to perdition, had we not become a weeping boil to our neighbouring nations, even the fabled white-winged crow crows seeking a bolt hole to avoid our lost folk scattered across the globe. If it was not said to our wounded and to our injured, you deserve it. Would I be so at one with you? What?